It's the most wonderful time of the year. No, no, it's not Christmas time yet. It's the Durham Fair. The Durham Fair is the largest agricultural fair in the state. And in three days, we get around about 300,000 people coming through our town into our fairgrounds. The Durham Fair is a place to exercise your right to have fun. Watch history spin into action. It's a place where a kid can hug a cow. And are you ready for this? It's run completely by volunteers. There is no paid staff, um, which, which also makes us, according to the history books, I guess, the largest all-volunteer fair in North America. Now, of course, there are traditions that continue this year. The crowds, the food, the Ferris wheel. But one foul thing won't be back. We're in a little bit of a dilemma this year because there's no poultry allowed to uh, exhibit this year. That's because the chickens caught the flu this year. Poor things. But not to worry, they got more rabbits and they're making the goat ring larger and, you know, it's really, it's really quite amazing. If you're wondering what's new at the Durham Fair this year, it's this building behind me. And while it doesn't have anything to do with fun, it's going to come in very, very handy. It's an emergency room. This is a brand new uh, facility to replace an old emergency room trailer that we had to take care of the patients that might be injured or have problems while they're visiting at the fair. The proceeds from fairs gone by went into making it possible. This is one building where they don't want a lot of business. OK, back to the fun. This fair is 40 acres of awesome. We have all sorts of you know, animals, carnival type rides, uh, exhibits of all sorts. It just is a great experience. It's sort of a, a warm and fuzzy experience. It's really, really fabulous. Now it costs $10 to get into the fairgrounds every day, and with the price of admission comes some top entertainment. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts appear tonight. The Charlie Daniels Band hits the stage tomorrow, and Sarah Evans closes out the fair on Sunday afternoon.